Hello, welcome back for challenge three for NTN8. Thank you all for who have voted for me. I'm here once again, and this time our challenge for week three is solar power. Solar power is based off of C&D's solar oil. So everyone loves to have healthy cuticles as they're getting nail enhancements done. So that is the benefit of using C&D's solar oil nourish cuticles so for this challenge we need to create a 3d look on all 10 fingers in the cuticle area within the cuticle area we must contain celestial nail art so stay tuned and see what i create i started by prepping my natural nail prepping is highly important as it determines the longevity of your nail set I then start to fit my CND forms on my finger. Make sure to size the form so it fits snug to the finger. As you can see, this fits perfectly nice and snug. Then I proceed to start with shaping my tip out first. It helps with the nail structure. After structuring out the style shape nail, I then proceed to take the form off and start shaping my almond shaped nail. After removing the form, I then proceed to building the rest of the nail out by building my apex in the center of the nail with the gel. I prefer to remove the form as this helps with seeing where the product is laying because the product is clear. I then proceed with a small ball of gel to fill in the cuticle area. I turn my finger upside down as this helps to level out the gel. As I'm building out the sun in my lonula area, I'm starting off with CND's white Brizza building gel. I then apply two coats of black pool within this area. After the two coats of black pool, I then apply Brizza's top coat gel to apply the chrome in the lanula area. To create a mixture for the sun rays, I use the color Popsicle Picnic and I use the Brizza's gel paint along with Clear Builder Brizza gel. Once the mixture is complete, I then use my detail brush to apply straight lines above the lanula area. To get a more nighttime effect, I use some flakes from my local nail supply store. This really gives a night look. After I place the flakes on, I then proceed with applying CND's matte top coat as I would like to create a cloud look on my nail. To create the cloud look on my nail, I use a product from Michaels called Mixative. This really helps to give that cloudy effect. For the transition to the night look on my nails, I then start to create a moon within the lanula area, once again using the CND Brizzo White Builder Gel. To give my moons a crater look, I then use my drill bit. My drill was then on a very high speed and I applied very much pressure. The more pressure applied, it helped to create a deeper hole and a more crater look to the moon. So as the same steps I followed as creating the lanula area for my sun, I then followed the same process to do the lanula area for my nighttime look. As you have dried the top coat over the moon, Make sure to take your drill and go back over the same holes in the same area. This will help keep the definition of your craters. To tie in with the celestial nail art, I wanted to create a Milky Way on my nighttime look. To achieve this look, I used the Brizza Gloss Top Coat, Brizza White Paint, and Clear Brizza Sculpting Gel, along with Glow in the Dark Mica Powder from Michaels. 
To achieve the starry nighttime look in the Milky Way, it's best to use a dotter tool and place random beads of the gel in small areas, then cure in the lamp. Ooh, here's my glowy starry night. Thanks for watching. Last but not least, always remember to keep your cuticles hydrated and nourished with CND Solar Oil. Thank you guys. Remember to vote for me.